Hello friends. The next topic is path matrix. So in this video, we are going to discuss that how for a particular graph, how we are pre preparing or constructing the path matrix. Okay. So suppose if G is a gra simple graph without parallel edges and having n vertices and e edges. Then the path matrix or this matrix is also known as reachability matrix. Reachability matrix. So this path matrix or reachability matrix from the vertex between VI and VJ. Okay, so the path between this all uh, between these two vertices VI and VJ is denoted as like P of VI VJ or you can say PIJ. So the value of this PIJ is equal to either having value 1 or 0. The value is 1 if jth edge lies on ith path. Otherwise the value is 0. Okay. So the rows in the matrix P, v of I, uh, PIJ correspond to the different path between vertices and column corresponding to edges in G. So suppose we take an example that if this is a graph and uh, we are having, uh, we have to construct the path matrix for this particular graph. So we have to consider all the path or uh, first of all we have to consider two vertices. Uh, for this case I am I'm, Finding the path matrix between vertex A and D. So P of AD is equal to a matrix. So in which the rows represent all the path in between A to D. That how we reach from A to D. So we consider all the different path between vertices A and D. And the, col and the column represent the number of edges. So first of all we have to consider the uh, different path which are possible between A and D. Suppose first, the first path is to, uh, we have to start with A and reach to D either with traversing the edge E1, E7. So the first path is E1, E7. Second path is E1, E6, E4. E1, E6, E4. The next path we have to consider E5, E4. E5, E4. Then we consider our next path that is E5, E6, E7. So we consider all the possible path in which we are starts with A and reach to D. Then we take another example, uh, another path. We either traverse like E1, E2, E3. E1, E2 and E3. So these are the, all the different path which, uh, we, which we have to consider between vertex A and D. Now all these paths 1 to 5 represent as number of rows and all the edges E1 to E7 represent the number of columns. Now, now if the jth edge lies on ith path then the value is 1 and the rest and the remaining values are 0. So for the first path um, we are considering only two edges E1 and E7. So the value of E1 and E7 are 1 and the rest values are 0. For the second path we are considering E1, E6 and E4. E1, E4 and E6 are 1 and the rest values are 0. For the third path we are considering E5 and E4 and the rest values are 0. For the fourth uh, for the fourth path, we are uh, taking E5, E6 and E7 and the rest values are 0. And for the fifth path, E1, E2 and E3 are value 1 and the rest values are 0. So this is how we prepare a path matrix for the particular graph. So a uh, short recap. First, we have to consider all the path. Uh, first, we have to consider uh, two vertices in which we have to find out how many possible paths uh, will be exist between two vertices and then we consider all the different paths between two edges then take one path one by one and considering the number of edges which are lying that path are having a value 1 and the rest values are 0. Some observations are there that the column uh, of all zeros correspond to an edge that does not belong to any path between specified vertex pair between A and B.
and the column of all ones correspond to an edge that lies in every part between a specified vertex pair A and B. Okay, so if the column are having all zero, it doesn't. It means that it does not belong to any path. It does not belong to any path between a particular vertex and a column having a way all ones. It means that that an edge lies in every path. In every path. So I hope you understood this and. Uh, you can uh, send your query or you can ask in our comment section also. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.